Hey, good evening. This is Jupiter Exile. And I said I would not be streaming for the rest of this week, uh, so I might be a little bit of a liar. <laughs> uh, I think it would be probably better to say I'm not planning to do streaming. But uh, here we are, because I'm in the mood to fight Melania, and uh, I'm not about to do that offline. So here we go. Let's hope for the best. Hey, how you doing? I forgot the drink. Too late. Just in time, actually. Two. Mm, too early. Wrong button. Okay, there's a bit of a weird delay on some of those. Ah, oh, she has a different uh, line in phase two. That's an attack that I loosely knew about, but not exactly how to avoid it. It's just about dodging with the correct timing. Ooh, now that we're back on, I'm gonna check all my messages. Oh, those are messages discovered. Here we go. Uh, okay, I got a couple of uh, things on the ones that I posted yesterday. So we got to phase two, that's good. Just take the critical. She said no.
All right, two of those in phase one, not great. Oh, I missed up. Uh, a little lazy. If I can get all the way through that attack she did in the second phase before, the one with the multi-phantoms, I believe that lets me punish for two more hits. much more accustomed to several of her habits. Oh. Not always that one, though. Sometimes I just screw that up. On neutral approach, always need to take a, a singular attack to confirm. And she usually will not give me the second one. Sometimes she does let me get the second attack off the neutral approach. But we really can't take that hit for granted. it will often be denied. Oops. My attack didn't uh, finish, so it didn't correct back onto her in her new position. For some reason, I was still in the same attack string. I thought I delayed long enough to be in a new one. That's no good. That is under committing for sure. too early. <sighs> Catching her out of her sidesteps is surprisingly tricky when you're doing other stuff in general.
positioning was not quite right to hit her with that pot. Now apparently, and I might want to try this, there's a dead zone when she's doing the uh, like upwards rising... Do I not have enough to make more freeze pots? Oh wow, I already burned through. I'm burning through that a lot faster than before. So I'm using them, I'm, I'm getting to the point where I need them more often. <clears throat> And I suppose I didn't wrap up with a farming session last time, so... Makes sense. I could have, uh, hit her on that. I wanted some different positioning. Ah, that's bad. Don't do that. Blech. I am making some lazy mistakes right now. Hmm. Predictable. This is an uncomfortable spot to fight. Yep, I made the same mistake. Jeez, come on. I keep doing that. I was feeling pressed for time there. Like if I kept backing up, I wasn't going to get it right. I'm going to gather more stuff. It's good that this is just before Melania. Like this is right on the way to her. You get the chance to gather up all this stuff that's pretty useful. So, while I'm at this, uh, conversational topics, uh, the spring anime season actually seems pretty good. I'm watching, uh, I'm keeping up with a lot more shows than usually. I recently got caught up with Ascendance of Bookworm. I didn't have the warm fuzzies about it initially because the animation's pretty low budget. The voice work was uh, not very, not very intriguing. I, I would say it's nothing special. Uh, but the story of it was like, Nice and sweet. It's just like moment to moment um, stuff. Naturally, we've got Spy Family uh, this season. Which is really, really good. Everybody should watch that. Uh -huh. 
I'm watching a uh, Tomodachi game, which is like a uh, kind of a liar's game thingamajig setup. It's it's not a it's not a survival game with everybody's life on the line, but uh, somebody's theoretically going to get saddled with a whole bunch of debt, and it's uh, covering five high school kids who are like friends on the surface, but very clearly are hiding stuff from each other. Uh, very impactful things. I'm a few episodes into that now. Um, another standout that I've been uh, following in the isekai genre, um, something like we're trying to think about how to translate uh, how to translate what it is, but it's um, hmm. Uh, it's basically. Life in this dating sim is difficult for ordinary characters. Um, and it's a, it's a play on one of the typical, uh, like, isekai things, and most of these are bad. Uh, but it's a play on the isekai genre where you're, the character's, like, been moved into a rom-com. Um, but the male character has been moved into a women-oriented rom-com, and... He's just a side character with uh, not a whole lot going on. Uh, and that's that's the best isekai, is the one where the main character doesn't get all this free junk and, like, instantly overpowered. Uh, but the villains are basically the, uh, like, various heroes that would be in the game who all have, like, these lame cardboard cutout lines and they behave in kind of strange video game character ways. Uh, so there's, 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 a, there's a good meta-commentary element going on. Uh, and there hasn't been anything that's too, like, overt or preachy. I think that's the real problem with the genre. Uh, like, there's a lot of uh, people who want to write isekai, which is a fundamentally uh, kind of lame, contrived genre, and then they try to write it seriously and, like, make these big points. And that super falls flat. She really wants to kick. Uh, last season... Uh, for me, it was all about ranking of kings. That was amazing. Two of them, okay. She is angry. can't stop a third one. So three of those in phase one is just really awful. And that's just uh, the behaviors were not giving me enough damage opportunities to push uh, harder. She wasn't doing too many stabs uh, or slams. I got some punishes on early kicks, but I missed punishes on clockwise sidesteps. And I'm I I'm trying to work off of this habit where I attack twice from neutral so that I don't get killed by that attack. And when I stop doing that, I do less damage a lot of the time because I give up damage opportunities to be safe. And that's the trick about having this fight be on a timer where I need to avoid that attack in a very specific way.
If I'm far away when she starts it up, I could try the runaway. Go and finally. getting tense because I got close and I want to make sure she doesn't get off a second waterfowl but I'm backing off early enough that it's letting her get some of her sidesteps in for free So when I'm making the first attack, if she's in an attack animation, I can go into the second. Because if she gets hit out of an attack animation by the first attack, she won't be doing a dash. And then I can commit harder. Hmm. Oh, hey, somebody became Lord. Did it again. God, it's such a bad reflex. Let me make sure the stream's up. Running. Everything's hunky dory. Yeah, looks good. to stop getting killed by the same attack. I'm not even certain if I need to roll there. I'm just doing it, just in case. too early. Also, I could have kept attacking her there. I'm getting too accustomed to playing this uh, defensively.
Here I go again. Finally. Okay. I didn't react to that correctly, but I want to push myself to do that more. I am not following her sidesteps, and it's going to make me lose the fight. I need to be following those sidesteps correctly and answering them with the right preemptive attack. I let her go on uh, counterclockwise sidesteps twice that fight. I got nervous there because I didn't properly recognize uh, what she was doing. Oh, she did this. That was the step forward. I need to dodge through that. That behavior becomes pretty rare with the spacing I tend to have. You know, it's funny. Um, the Reddit community for Elden Ring is pretty interesting. I actually saw somebody online who was arguing, like, because Melania has six parryable attacks, then obviously, like, parrying is the efficient way to kill her. Like, dude, what are you on? <laughs> it's ridiculous. Like, he legitimately didn't realize how much harder he was making it for himself. Right, she'll do an attack after that. If I'm in range. If I'm not in range, she'll just stand there. Hmm. I might be close to understanding the fight well enough to innovate new openings. I need to try uh, the dead angle on her um, rising slash. Is there's a, a point behind her that she doesn't hit when she's doing that. I've been rolling to make sure I'm in that spot. But it's not strictly necessary to roll that. So long as I'm taking the two slashes, I don't think I'm going to be able to get in position. And I like taking the two attacks on it. Alright, we're on the back foot.
see. Can I push that any harder? So there is one behavior that I recognized like one or two fights ago. I was able to do a roll forward, and she was actually committed to a, uh, a slash that missed me. But I don't know if I could do that again. I think I just realized it in the moment. But... It's not something I was, like, ready to apply logic to. Please let me get my stamina back. That was the attack. Um, I think if I'm in the right position on that attack, I can, like, hit her and then dodge through. That's the one. It's really, really tricky, though. I think it's the kind of thing that'll happen if I throw out an attack preemptively as a mistake and happen to have the time to roll rather than anything else. Using the triple flurry three times in a row is really obnoxious. So that was a bit of, like, what the dead, dead spot for that looks like. So I don't actually need to roll that attack on her landing. But I was able to move into that position because I only took one slash on her startup. I could get two slashes on her startup instead. And that would be better. Rank. Here we go. <sighs> mm -hmm. This stunner, it does. Nope. Lots of red mains here. Well, if you're gonna move away, I'll just get my uh, FP back. Will be a phase two. All right. Sip. Run. Now. Ha <laughs> ha! She got me. She has different. So. That's a different uh, timing for her to start up the kick. When I'm fighting her regularly, you'll notice she's not kicking at all in the first phase, which means that something about her AI is different in the second phase about how she determines whether or not she's going to kick. I'm guessing that's because in her second phase, some of the moves are missing from her repertoire. So there she just decided to kick out of retaliation, which I've seen her do sometimes, but not lately. I think that's because... She only does it when I'm in close proximity. If I'm attacking from max range, she doesn't do it. So 
I probably prompted that by running up too close to her for my punish on her other attack. If I kept my range properly, I would not have gotten caught off guard by that kick. Lesson learned. <laughs> oh, wrong move. See, I probably just need to be... Uh, uh. Yeah. I can only do the second slash if I'm reacting to getting a successful interrupt, which I will know because she will be doing a specific kind of move when I hit her. wasn't far back enough, and my dodge didn't quite come out fast enough either. But it's no good. Maybe I should go back to taking the critical. I don't know. a little heavy on the red main flame, so I wanted to get a drink in. I'm just going to go for the down, because I'm pretty sure I can uh, attack her on the wake-up for phase two. There's phase two. Slurp, and run. It's as soon as the attack starts to turn translucent that I can move in. There. There's some leeway. Oh, she can still do that. Oh! That's different. She just kicks more in phase two, doesn't she? So, I, w I did not have a safe punish option. Well, I had some safe punish after her stab, but I had to make it a single attack to get away with it. I did not have enough time for two attacks because she went to a kick, which she doesn't do in phase two. A lot of these behaviors, you can't see by watching people fight. 
uh, fight this fight. Because when you're looking at the successful clips, they won't showcase these uh, differences in AI. She have she has a wholly different kick animations in phase two. Like she's kicking with a different leg in phase two. Slurp. I should have punished that. got away with that. I slurp even though I don't need it for timing. Now. Rock burst. Okay, I need to I need to roll those. And the method to discern that attack is the the plumes from the ground starting up. And that'll make it suitably different from uh, waterfowl dance, where she's she's just gonna rise into the air with no particle effects. Whew, that's got my heart pumping. Let it all out. Just loosen on up. She's uh, really keeping, uh, keeping up a helpful cadence. Ah, not there. I was ca I was being cautious about her canceling to waterfowl dance, which is why I did only a single slash there. I mean, single slash is usually what I want to do. But she responded with a fast slash, which is difficult. So it occurs to me that in phase two, the red main openings are different, and I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'm not certain what to do about that just yet. Oh, I was in the middle of inputting another roll, but it was that was a super fast slash. What did I do wrong? I have no earthly idea what I did wrong. It just happened. I 
I think I was out of range, but I wasn't sure. Figured that might come soon. Woo! Stamina low, so we're not punishing there. That was a weird choice by me. I don't, I'm not sure why I even did that. Uh, let's try the runaway. Okay, I needed to roll there. I'm not sure how the third hit really works. I think I needed to be low, lower, like ducking a little bit. I've seen people attack her through that, but I'm assuming that's because their attack was ducking their character model a little bit on retrospect. Because I think I got hit by the high burst hitbox. Get out of range there. More there. Ah, okay, I did need to roll back. Yeah, after she takes that freeze bomb, she's going right back to neutral, so it's a dangerous moment. Bit of lag. Come on now. Okay. Uh, if if the lag could stop, that'd be cool. On the initial run up there, if she doesn't stop running and start walking. Uh, I usually see her transition from that run into the forward leaping slash. Which is why I dodged, uh, which is why I was focused on dodging instead of trying to take an attack. Because that attack has armor, and it'll go right through me. Oh, neat. Winder. Nice. That was a fast phase one. Like, weirdly fast. I kept expecting her to do something trickier. Hmm. Ow. What if I open with a red main flame? Eh, let's not. 
be more predictable if I don't. So yeah, before fighting this, I was not able to tell that she had different kicks in the second phase. But... Yeah, she does. I have to get used to that. But I'm making to the se I I'm making it to the second phase now, reliably enough. I'll figure it out as we go. It's mostly similar behaviors. It's just a couple things. Big damage. Thought you might do that. Itchy face. Ah, okay, there we go. Wasn't sure if I got far away enough there. I'm over here. Yeah, she gave me the runaround. Almost had that wrong. Just, there we go. Hmm. Oh, my dodge didn't come out. Bummer. Hmm. Can't do a jump from there. I'd love to. I'm just gonna take a critical here. She doesn't always stand still after uh, doing that move. So I have to check for a bit to wait and see if she's going to do something before I go for a punish. Ah. When she does that setup, she usually goes for triple slash, and that's the timing I dodged for. She didn't do a waterfowl dance that whole time. When I noticed that she was doing the other attack, I actually delayed my dodge slightly, but I recognized I couldn't delay it quite enough. Um, I needed to keep delaying it until my um, until my dodge turned into a sprint, and then dodge out of the sprint. Oh, hmm. 
You got me straight up there. There's a little overcommit. I think I had the time to dodge, but I didn't get it off in time. It's just a reaction thing. Hmm. Oh, that's death. Oops. I haven't done that in a while. Hmm. The people who are really good at this, I wonder how often they did that when they were fighting or just like get wrecked right off the bat. Oh, congratulations, somebody. I think it's peculiar that even in that case you can't see people's names. Yeah, that wasn't safe. I have to make sure she returns to neutral after that attack if I want uh, before I can punish it. I actually think if I can catch her going to neutral in various cases, I might be able to do a leaping attack. Her reset animation is weirdly slow. Ah, I was standing too far away. If I had gotten the first hit, it would have interrupted and the second hit be a guarantee. Just got outspaced. I've heard some uh, people talking online about, not just for this fight, but in general, using the uh, Golden Halberd. And I saw one fight uh, for this using the Battle Standard. So you're getting extra, you're getting spear range, and they were really making use of that during the fight. There's a case where we can punish that. That's a case where I uh, had my finger on B and I had to change what I was doing to not quite press it so that I could get the right dodge timing. I was on the button, I just had to release it and repress it super fast uh, when the actual timing came up. But I held it down before that. For all the times the input methods in the game sometimes screw you up, uh, they can work out to your benefit as well. It is a good thing that you dodge on releasing B instead of pressing B. That's a fast one. Please? Nope. There are some perfect ranges where that is not going to work out. Um, basically, if she is positioned at the apex of the arc of the throw, uh, then you're not going to hit her. She has to be closer than the top of the parabola.
or further than the top of the parabola, but in that case, you should run away. You might miss for other reasons. Like, she might start at the attack before the projectile reaches her. I'm, I'm screwballing for a bit. Like, ah, oh, let me try jump attacks and random stuff. I think anytime I'm using Flame of the Red Mains, I could be doing a jump attack, as far as the first phase is concerned. And if I was using a different Ash of War, then I would swap in a jump attack in that case. And we're using, of course, jumping L1s, so long as we're dual wielding. Since uh, jumping R2s only hit with the right hand weapon. second dodge off. Alright, I've got a little bit of steam left. I do not like fighting this boss for more than about an hour at a time. It's very fatiguing. come out of the corner a little bit more than that. I'm not going to move on that. critical here. What's that? It's a little more than uh, two hits. Whew. You might have noticed my character spaz out because I uh, started up a run by holding down the B button so that I did not dodge early and die. She hasn't done that to me in so long. <laughs> I think that's the only uh, grab attack I've taken tonight. The only one that's hit me. Okay, so the phase two cadence is a bit more appreciably different than I was taking it for previously. She likes to end her combos differently, so it's going to take a bit longer to learn 
than I might have thought previously. Uh, and we'll get back to that uh, some other day. For now, this has been Jupiter Exile. I hope we wander again soon. You have a good night.